Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. This is DoorDash Sucks, and this is also Gig Apps Exposed. You're going to be seeing this video at both my channels. Lately I've been posting redundant videos on both channels, but I'm going to start separating that soon. Uh, but this is an important uh, video because I did, um, I did a video, uh, well, all credit and everything goes to Aaron uh, from Uberlift Phoenix for his video letting us know what's going on and the reason i'm letting you guys know is because i've covered the fact that uber lift phoenix got deactivated a long time ago what six eight months ago almost a year ago something like that and then we didn't hear much about it we didn't know if he was going to get his money back if he was going to get reactivated or whatever so then a couple of days ago i covered i covered it again and he got reactivated on his account and uh, it was showing 1700 bucks in in the weekly earnings, but he didn't know whether he was going to get it because obviously today is only Monday at the time I'm recording this. And I think he put this video out yesterday, but I want to give credit to e, uh, Coach Eli too for letting me know about that because as I was speaking to him on the phone the other day, he let me know that Uberlift Phoenix was now deactivated again. And before we get into the video, I'm just going to say this, the little background on from what I know about it. And, you know, I'm I'm sad to see him not get his, or supposedly not get the 1700. And I'm sad to see someone that got deactivated from YouTube. But I have to say, I mean, not YouTube, from DoorDash. But I have to say this, then finding out that Uber Lyft Phoenix was actually using, I guess, from what I understand, I, I may, if someone can if, correct me on it, he ended up uh, getting activated on, an, on another account, probably through a friend or a family member or whatever. It's kind of similar to what uh, Dashing Trader had done, because Dashing Trader supposedly had been deactivated once from DoorDash. But he's been he's been uh, reactivated, uh, what, three times on that platform. And so I want to say this, that you know, <laughs> using uh, someone else's account or their name or whatever is fraud. I mean, um, so that's not a good thing. In other words, when you're deactivated, you're de deactivated, right? If you want to get reactivated, you need to do it legally and lawfully. You should be doing it legally and lawfully. Now, if I'm wrong about what I'm reporting here, correct me in the... Um, in the uh, the comments. But what I understand is he'd be, he'd been using a second account or another account to use DoorDash. So now it comes out that he's deactivated again. So it says DoorDash deactivate my account just hours after he reported that he was reactivated. So now why would they reactivate? Why would they re, why would they reactivate him first and then why would they deactivate him again? Is it because he was using a second account with someone else's name, number, social security number, or whatever? I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments. Let's listen to the video here. It's important to talk about these things. I mean, you can't be screwed over by a company and then expect to use fraud against them and be justified by it, in my opinion. So, I mean, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. All right, let's roll the video here. Hey, what's up? I got an update on the DoorDash reactivation. Uh, I was hoping I wasn't going to have to do this video. I've been waiting to hear back from DoorDash, but shortly after I did the video yesterday telling you guys and showing you guys that I was reactivated and most likely will get paid my money, I uh, checked the, clicked on the DoorDash app and it was red. So I was wanted to log on to ensure that I, you know to check and make sure that I am you know able to do to dash actually dash since it you know finally b became red and I was able to and it had me choose the pay by time or you know per delivery and then it said you're changing your your location to Longview Washington from Chandler Arizona and I clicked yes I am and then it said, we have to verify your identity before you can log on as a dasher. 
So it had me take a picture of my driver's license and it had me do a selfie where I like turned my head one way and turned my head the other way. And then it said that it, it couldn't verify my identity through that method, through the driver's license and selfie selfie. And it, it blocked just the dashing section of my app and the other stuff was still able to be looked at the ratings and the, the pay. And so I wasn't that worried. And then a couple hours later, I go to show a fellow spark driver that my balance and should tell him about it. And I pull it up and it's got the deactivation screen on it. And then I check my email and they emailed me that my account's now been deactivated. So let me show you everything. Okay. Now the, the question here is why did they re deactivate him? He was already deactivated once. Then he got deactivated again. Now, from what I've heard from other people, to see, I didn't watch Uber Lyft Phoenix's channel for, for a long time. I mean, occasionally he'll come up in my uh, my feed or whatever. And one of the reasons why is because it's not that uh, I care about the fact that he unsubscribed to me, but he made a video about me telling me that I was um, misinforming people about certain things, right? Because I was following the train derailments. Remember that, folks? And I still am. I'm not, you know, this whole glitch gate thing that's happened has has uh, sidetracked me from my, you know, original missions, you know, because I had to cover it. And so I, you know, I, from time to time, I show you some things that are going on in the world that affect us indirectly or directly and have in, you know, and not even that, even if it wasn't directed or indirectly for what we do as gig workers, it's important stuff to know because those train derailments had to do with uh, chemicals that would be in, uh, put into the water or, you know, even if it was by accident, it, it, it still was wor uh, noteworthy news to talk about. But there's, you know, I know a lot of things that I've been researching and I know facts and things that other people don't know so i had so my job is to tell you what i think is going on and so in the videos that i did i told you that i you know there was definitely a uh, effort for them to be doing it on purpose and so he made a video about me talking about how he was going to unsubscribe from my channel and that don't go to his channel because he's mis he's misinforming you which is not true um and so i got away from his channel and i didn't watch it anymore so during that time, apparently, he had got another account activated by either his friends, family, or whatever. Now, what is that called, folks? That's called fraud. That, in other words, you're deceitfully using or you're getting signed up to go on an app when, in fact, you're not the person that is the account holder and you're using their account, which can actually get them in trouble for doing it. So if I'm wrong here, let me know in the comments, folks. But I was told by many people that he had been using another account so now knowing that information now i don't feel bad about him getting deactivated or losing his money because now you're going to fraud the system in order to get a do a workaround that's not legal and not as in is in the terms of service too i i believe and so all i'm doing is reporting on okay he got deactivated again so Let's continue and see what else Aaron has to say here. And by the way, I'm not attacking him. I'm just pointing out what is going on because he's making his his videos public. And I could, I'm allowed to critique things. And I'm not monetized. I don't make money on this. I'm just exposing things that are going on so you can see what's going on in the community. So anyways, um, let's continue here. Here's what happens when I... Grubhub Plus members save more on the food Sorry they about love. that, folks. With new cost-saving member benefits. Because I'm doing this straight off of uh, YouTube right now, so that's why these commercials are coming up. Aaron's a monetized channel, so that's why these commercials come up. Um, all right. Ah, now look at this. Your account has been deactivated, so he got another he got another uh, uh, notification that his account has been deactivated. But... Is he is he deactivated? Oh yeah, he's deactivated on his account, but he's been using DoorDash with someone else's account, so he never missed a beat on that, right? Isn't that what we we we, we have reported on Dashing Trader? What he's been doing says that I'll get the money. 
It used to say that you're you're not getting paid, and now it says. It says any pending earnings from completed and legitimate deliveries will be transferred. You see that? What that says in legitimate deliveries will be transferred to your bank. Will will be transferred to your bank account. However, you won't receive payment for any deliveries or portion of deliveries related to illicit activities or platform abuse. So what is illicit activities and platform abuse? Well, that would be the fact that Uber Lyft Phoenix is apparently using another account to um, to make his money. So, like, Aaron, if you're listening to this video, uh, why are you doing that? Are you pissed because they deactivated you? If you had just done everything legally and lawfully, you probably would have got your money back. I told you early on when I did my first video on you, because I felt bad for you, I, I tried to help you by telling you to go to uh, gigrocket.com, Rideshare Professor's channel, Right. But all you did was go over to like different other channels and get interviews when you should have been trying to actually get your account back. So if you're going to use illegal activity or use someone else's account, that's fraudulent activity. So no wonder they're deactivating you again. All right. Let's continue. Your bank account. However, you won't receive payment for any deliveries or portion of deliveries related to the illicit activities or platform abuse as outlined in the independent contractor agreement and if you're acting if you're acting surprised at why your account was deactivated maybe you're getting your just desserts because you were using fraud against against that in other words you can't you can't fight uh or try to do just just things and then use fraud like against them by using another account because that cancels out the good that you're going to do. I mean, just why not just do good things? So I, I immediately requested a review and, and they're not answering back. And usually they, they answer back the next morning. So that's what happened when they reactivated it. Well, let me show you the email. And, and Aaron, if, if you're not using a second account, let us know in the comments so I can make a correction video and say that you weren't using it because a lot of people and i haven't watched your videos for a long long time so i haven't followed you so i'm just i heard in the comments from people but apparently you had been you got back on doordash somehow and you've been using doordash for a while so can you answer that in the comments or someone let me know in the comments because every other email i've ever got says why and this isn't it doesn't say why we have to inform you that your Dasher account has been deactivated. Please take some time to review your independent contractor agreement and the service. I mean, I, in one way, I don't blame DoorDash for deactivating you if you were using another account in someone else's name when you shouldn't be. And by the way, they have ways to find out who you are and, and they can see, you know, all of these apps have the ability to use your microphone, your face, everything, even though you think they can't. By you using that in the terms of service, it says that any and all uh, information that's gathered, you know, can be used, you know, against you or whatever like that. In other words, they're probably covertly listening to what you say and they figured out who you are because you may have been on the phone with someone talking and they heard it, heard it through the app. They can, it's all, all that information can go right back to them. So they probably figured out you were using another account and that's why you got deactivated. Now, if you haven't been using another account, let us know so we can report the, the correct information. Provider platform access policy. It says down here you will receive any outstanding payments on the next pay date. So I've got two other deactivation emails in this DoorDash folder. Where is it? There's one. This one says my pay, pay, payouts are blocked. Huh. And this one says in, improper use of the DoorDash red card in violation of your independent contractor agreement. I did a video on that. And 
the Walgreens Walgreens is declining the red card, and the the guy, the support guy, overseas support call center guy, was being a total asshole and telling me I should pay for it myself. And I kind of got like a little rough with him, and he just decided to report me for fraud, and it got it got turned on the next day. So now let me find the other one because both of them. Okay, here's the other one, and this one's the restaurant's closed thing. Outstanding pay payouts blocked. Repeated instances of you reporting stores as closed during a delivery when they were in fact open. And then the current one, I also thought it was weird. It doesn't have my, it doesn't. So he's talking about the current one that he just got. Um, that's now he's reporting that he got deactivated again on the account that they reactivated. I mean, in other words, his original account got reactivated, but he's not really talking about the other account that he has in this video. If there is one, from what I understand, Aaron from Uberlift Phoenix has been using an alternate account to get onto DoorDash to, to go and dash. So he may have had a brother, sister, mother, father, friend, cousin, whatever, activate an account. So then he was using an account, driving around and doing that. And they can find out, they can listen in on calls and everything else through those apps, you know, what you're doing. So I don't know if some of you know that. I mean, Edward Snowden who uh, blew the whistle on uh, being surveilled and everything else on these phones. They, they know what you're doing. They can find out who you are, and that's why they... they the, the thing is, though, ah, they're going to deactivate the other account that he's using from someone else's name. And again, if I'm wrong here, let me know in the comment sections, folks, because some of you are the ones who uh, informed me that he was using another account. So Dashing Trader, like his channel, he openly admits that he, he's using other accounts. And he says, I reactivated myself. I got reactivated three times and this and that. Remember that? And he says it openly. And uh, I don't know if Aaron's ever talked openly, but he must have to let his you know uh, community know, hey, I'm on DoorDash and I'm using him. I'm got, you know, I've got a friend or a family member that signed me up. But that's you're not supposed to do that. So that's called fraud. Anyways, uh, let's continue here. Oh, no, I thought it was weird that the reactivation email didn't have my name. All these other ones say, hi, Aaron. This one just says, hi. So. I wanted to, to wait till they emailed me a response, but it's. Seems like they're not gonna. They might just ignore that appeal. So, so I'm right back. Well, to... Well, say goodbye to your seventeen hundred bucks, my friend. I'm telling you, if you had done it the right way and gone to, I told you in a video about a year ago, or whatever, that if you had gone to gigrocket.com, paid the sixty nine bucks to rideshare professor, you know, and the, all this paperwork, he would have sent over all the forms that would have got tried to get you on legitimately. And you would have had your 1700 bucks already, and you also would have been reactivated because apparently you didn't do anything wrong. But the way you went about it was say, screw them, I'm going to bypass them, and I'll get a friend to sign up for DoorDash, and I'll just use their DoorDash account. But see, what screwed you up is the fact that you had to take a picture of yourself because they're doing biometrics. And they they know who you are or whatever, and they and then so that's what triggered the algorithm to tell you that you're deactivated again. So obviously they don't like what you've been doing. I'm just surprised the other account's probably not deactivated yet either, and that probably will get deactivated, in my opinion. So Aaron, if you could clarify that, let us know in a video that you could make so we can make sense of it. I'm actually trying to help you. I tried helping you in the beginning. You didn't listen, though. Well, maybe you'll listen now. I was before. I don't have a 
DoorDash account and I don't have the money, but I could possibly get the money. Is the only bright side, or you know, the only hope I have is that they will now actually pay the money. So, does anybody know? Uh, have any any guess on why the hell? Have you ever had an email saying you're deactivated with no reason? I just told you the reason. That's why I'm doing the video, my friend. They probably knew or have been watching you for a while because you're using a second account. If you're using a second account, they can know they know who you are. It's just maybe they did that to see what you were going to do so they could prove it by the biometrics when you do use the biometrics to prove who you were. And that's why you're not reactivated or they deactivated you again. Okay. Comment if you have if you've ever been emailed you're deactivated and it didn't give you a reason. It doesn't give you a reason on the app screen, the deactivation screen on the app, but it it's always given me a reason on the I, I had one other that said it was a duplicate account. I did a video on that and showed that. It's a different email address that I only look up on my laptop, so I can't show you that right now, but that's... Ah, duplicate account. Are you talking about the one that you're using now from a friend or family member that you're using for DoorDash? Is that what you're talking about? Three times that I've, I've gotten one, and it's it's always given me a reason, and this one's not given me a reason. So, is it because of the identity thing? No. If, if you if you haven't used another account, let us know in the comments or make a video so I can make a video to, to clear you on that to say that you uh, that you haven't been you weren't doing that. That's fine, but I've been informed by different people that you are using a second account that's not that's not under your name. And if so, why wouldn't they say that or let me call them or you know do something to, to clear it up? And, or do they change their mind? People were saying in the comments, hurry up and cash that out. You, before they change your mind, and all, the, all you guys were right. I didn't have, to, I never even had time to, to consider cashing it out. I just, next time I looked at it, it was, it was already gone. So, look at it, check it one more time. So, hopefully they pay me. My next video will be if they paid me and if, the, if it's still turned off, if it's still deactivated. So, probably Tuesday. I'm, if I don't get paid, I don't see it in my bank account on Tuesday, I'll wait till Wednesday. And then I'll, if it does, it's not in there on Wednesday, then it's probably not going to come. So, um, but please let me, give me your, you know, your, uh, guess give me your opinion on what the hell that's what i'm doing right here aaron trying to clear it up like i said you know i i was actually your best friend a year ago when i tried helping you exposing the whole thing i think that your best bet was to do it legally and lawfully and and i think you chose to go another route so i guess uh when you play with fire you get burned and you may get burned in this situation, but I, I understand why you probably did a, a second account because you're like, screw them out. They're not going to stop me. Just like Dash and Trader says, they're not going to stop me. I'm going to make all the money I want. But guess what? That's called fraud. You don't want to be committing fraud, you know, if, you, if you're doing that. You got to, I mean, you should stop doing it. Anyways, uh, let's finish off here. Why they did that? It was only like five hours after they they reactivated reactivated it, then they just deactivated it again. And it was it was very shortly after I did the did the selfie and the picture of my driver's license. So, what's your guys' opinion? What the hell is going to happen? And I'll I'll give you an update on this Tuesday or Wednesday morning. All right. Okay. So that's the end of his video. So thank you, Aaron, for making the video so we could. So I could put the information out there for people because not only if if this is true about that he had a second account or something, it make it would make sense why they did it. Uh, because why would they reactivate him and then deactivate him? Maybe the purpose was to get him to do do the selfie so they could get the biometrics on him. You know what I mean? And know that it's actually him. Uh, but then the other question is, how come the other account from that second account's not deactivated? If he's using the second account, like I said, this is just hearsay at, at the time. This is just opinions 
but I'm trying to help the guy and trying to get to the bottom of it. But like, you know, let me know, Aaron, if you end up seeing this video, at least respond back with a video or respond back somehow so I can make another video and clear you out on that, you know? All right. All right, folks. Thanks for listening. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care, folks.